Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can probably tell, I have another book haul for you all. I went shopping. I bought more books. I couldn't help myself, and then there was free shipping. Let's just get straight into my little book haul that I have for you guys today. So, the first uh, couple of books I'm going to talk to you about are books that I've bought so far this month, at the end of last month, they didn't make it into my pity book haul, because there were enough books in that book haul. Anyway, so the first book that I purchased was P.S. I Like You by Cassie West. Now this book is about Lily, who writes song lyrics down on to a desk at school, and when she comes back to that class later at high school, someone else has finished in the rest of the lyrics, and then her and this mysterious person get talking, and it's all about their relationship, figuring out who the other person is, who they're talking to, and I have actually already read it, and I loved it. It was so good. I enjoyed it so much. So then, the next book I picked up was... The Black Key by Amy Ewing. So this is the third and final book in the Jewel series by Amy Ewing. I'm really excited to pick this up and read it because it's the final book and I'm going to know what happens. I'm a bit concerned at how thin it is. And I just like the fact that this one's black and the other two are white. I know I'm getting annoyed about the dumb things, but it's like, I know it's the Black Key, the Jewel and the White Rose, but come on, you couldn't have made the spine a bit more white so it matched at least. And then the next book I purchased was First and Then by Emma Mills. So I don't actually remember what this is about, but it seems like another little high school cutesy book and the back of it says, did I still want to be friends? What I really wanted was to kiss Ezra's face off and punch him in the arm and then kiss his face off some more. That wasn't quite an ideal friendship, was it? High school drama. Sounded cute and I just, this cover is adorable and I just had to pick it up and then, guys, how amazing is that? Okay, so those are the three books that I have purchased just when I've gone to the shops. Now on to Booktopia, who had free shipping. I think I purchased like seven or something books. I don't know, like this is ridiculous. I was not expecting such a big box. These things are always defective. Let's try from the other end. Yes. Nope, nope, did the same thing. Bloody maze to get, like this is ridiculous. This is sorcery. Oh, there's bubble wrap in here. Oop, oop. Pulled the bubble wrap out. And there's a massive hole and all my books just went into the box. It's, it's fine. So. <laughs> so good. I'm so good. So we have bookmark. Not interesting. We have my receipt and I bought how many books? Oh, I only bought five. That's nothing. Alrighty, so the first book that I have purchased is How to Keep a Boy as a Pet by Diane Mezzadoro. I hope I pronounced that right. Probably didn't. Now you're probably wondering, Nicole, why did you pick up a book called How to Keep a Boy's Pet? First of all, I picked it up because the name just sounds bloody ridiculous and hilarious. Like, How to Keep a Boy's a Pet? Who the hell would want to keep a boy's pet? Second of all, it was $1.95. So I figure the name sounds hilarious. It's probably going to be really stupid and funny and it's $2. So yeah, I'm picking it up. So basically, it's about this girl who's going to see if she can get a guy and tame him like walking a dog or something. I'm so excited about this one. I picked up To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han and the sequel, Yes, I Still Love You. Finally own these books, guys, in Hardback 2. book series is about a girl who's written letters to all of her ex-boyfriends and then I think the letters get sent out to said ex-boyfriends and stuff happens. But I'm really excited to pick it up because I've heard nothing but good things about this book and I've wanted to read it for the longest time and was it cute? look like oh it's so pink it's so pink and pretty I love that font now I have it and I have the sequel I have the sequel that blue oh my god it's blue it's blue yeah so the final two books I got is by one of my favorite authors which was Alice Clayton which is nuts and then I believe the sequel cream of the crop so I bought these because you guys know I loved her cocktail series I thought it was hilarious it was great I need some light-hearted new adult books plus the, the title's Nuts and Cream of the Crop. And I don't actually know what these are about, but basically they're contemporary new adult novels. I've wanted more Alice Clayton books for ages and I finally have some more, so that's it. Okay, so they are all the books. My hardback collection is growing and it makes me so happy. So these are all my books. I now have to find somewhere to put them. So anyway, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. As always, give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe if you have not done so. I post videos whenever I feel like it. It's not regularly. It's not often. I try for once a week, but I'm not very good at that. Bye.